Greetings! Today, I will show you how to install the new FSR3 upscaling mod into The Last of Us without the flickering HUD issue. Now, low-end PC players can enjoy the game after two years. So, like and subscribe. Let's dive in. Let's see how many FPS I'm getting without the mod. I'm using the medium preset with FSR quality. If you have a weaker CPU like mine, don't try to put unnecessary load on it because when you apply the mod, it will put some stress on the CPU too. I'm getting decent FPS for the settings I use. Even with these settings, my CPU can't handle the game. As I mentioned before, if you have a good CPU better than mine, you can get more FPS and eliminate freezes and stutters. Okay, let's see how you can install this mod, and don't forget to watch the whole video before commenting that the mod doesn't work. I will put the link in the description for the mod. Go ahead and download it. Go to your game directory. Open the mod file and drag and drop everything into the game directory, or extract it, copy and paste it there. For some of you guys, the game will not launch if you don't open the game as an administrator, so be sure to run the game as an administrator. When you launch the game, you will see the reshade menu on the top left of your screen. That means the mod is installed. At the first launch, the mod is not enabled. Before we enable FSR 3 with frame gen, make sure to enable in-game FSR. Press the end key on your keyboard to bring up the mod menu. To remove this menu, press the end button again. For GTX players, you can switch between Intel XS and FSR2 and find what's best for you, but I recommend the FSR3 option. Don't choose DLSS from here or your game will crash. For RTX players, you can choose between any mod, but DLSS is best for you. If you want to use the mod DLSS feature and not the in-game DLSS, delete this file from the game directory. To see the fix work, let's disable the HUD fix and see what happens. You can see HUD flickering is present when you disable the fix. When I enable the fix, the HUD flickering is gone. Just so it's out there, I can't swim. Look, it looks like it's shallow in the right You can use the star button in your number pad section to toggle the frame generation on and off. Guys. What do you mean? I know you guys are getting paid for this, but I'm trying to say thanks. Yeah, sure thing. Let's play for a bit and see if we encounter any crashes. I'm using the same medium preset to test the mod. There is a cutscene up ahead. Let's see if it's going to crash or not. No. No, no, no. What happens now? What are you doing, Tess? Oh, God. 
Maybe they, uh... So no crashes after the cutscenes or before. This is great. I can finally enjoy the game. We just left her to die. Stop. You stay close to me. We have to move. Oh man. We'll go upstairs. How do we get out from there? For those who don't have a number pad on the keyboard, search the on-screen keyboard here and open it. If you still can't see the number pad, go to Options and tick this Turn On Numeric Keypad. Press OK. You now have a number pad. When I click on this star button, you can see my FPS change. You can do the same for the menu too. Click on the end button and you will get the menu. So that's it. Don't change anything in the reshade menu. And if you follow my steps correctly, you will not have any errors or crashes. As always, like and subscribe. Have a good day.